How's it going guys? Welcome to my Premier League predictions for 2022 and 23. If you have any issues with anything I predict, just know that you don't know ball as well as me and you're probably wrong, so just don't embarrass yourself and shut the fuck up. To start off with, I'm going to be very boring, but Bournemouth have to come last. They're shit. Simple as that, bro. Uh, 19th place is Fulham. They're just shit as well. I don't see Mitrovic being a bagsman again in the Premier League. I really don't. And 18th might surprise you, but I'm going to go with Leeds. Leeds literally just lost their two great, like their two good players are gone and they were shit anyway. All right, 17th place, I think will be Forest. I think they will just survive. They've made some very good signings. They're spending a lot of money. They're acting like a club who wants to stay in the big leagues. 16th, Everton. I don't think they'll get relegated, but yeah, they're not looking good, Brev. 15th is uh, Southampton. They're just shit, realistically. Like, I don't really have much to say about Southampton. I don't know if anyone has anything to say about Southampton, but they're just quite shit, aren't they? 14th, uh, Brentford. I think Thomas Frank is very underrated. I think he's quite good. I think he'll do well with Brentford. Um, yeah, bottom half though, 100%. They will come 13th. To finish off this little section here, it's going to be Brighton. Definitely better than most people think they are. They have lost Basuma, and they, I think, are going to lose Cucurella. But I still think they are decent. In 11th, I am going to put Wolves. Good manager, decent team, mid-table, mid-team, simple as that. Leicester coming 10th. They're just mid, aren't they? Ah, uh, yeah, Leicester mid, boring. I'll move on. Crystal Palace in 9th, I think that is. They're looking really good. Good manager, decent team. I think they'll do better than expected this year. They seem like they're on the right track, I guess. Same with Newcastle, obviously. Lots of money few signings it is just boring talking about them they are all mid but like you know what they'll do well so that's eighth i've got villa i don't know though i don't know about villa villa could literally be there or there i think it just depends on how good gerard is he doesn't seem to be killing the game recently i'm an idiot there's supposed to be six teams here sorry hang on let me just quickly do this so my seventh place team not Aston Villa that's eighth my seventh place team is West Ham West Ham will be seventh they're good I think they will start to drop off after this season though they got one more season with Declan Rice sixth place sixth place and this does kill me to say uh, it's Manchester United yeah we are shit Fuck all signings. Fuck all midfielders. This is if we don't get De Jong. Manchester United will come sixth if McTominay and Fred start in the midfield. It's simple as that. They are, they are wank, bro. If United get De Jong, possibly fourth. I think fifth if we get De Jong. Possibly fourth if we get De Jong and like Anthony or something. But at the moment... Fuck all signings, bro. Sixth place. Our pivot is literally Fred and McTominay. Brentford have a better pivot. Wolves have a better pivot. Every single one of these teams have a better midfield. We can't be relying on McTominay. And in fifth, uh, Arsenal. And it pisses me off because I hate literally every single Arsenal fan out there. Pisses me off because most Arsenal fans piss me off. They are looking good. Fourth place... Uh, Chelsea, they've like done well in this transfer market, but they haven't got a striker yet, and they need a striker. Can they come third with Havertz playing in striker or Werner? I don't think so. I don't think so. Third place, Manchester. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Tottenham. Tottenham in third. Conte's fucking brilliant. He is really good. They have heaps of depth now. Son and Kane are sick. Kulosevsky's looking good. They got Basuma for 25 million. What the fuck? Why couldn't United do that? He, We need someone like Basuma. Anyway. <laughs> DJ Spence. Or Jed Spence. However the fuck you say his name. He looks very good. I don't see Spurs 
I, I, at the moment, I do. Th it depends who Chelsea bring in from now, but Spurs are looking better. It all comes down to first place. I'm not going to put second place. I will put my first place in now. And the team that I think are going to win the uh, the Premier League this season is... Oh, it's, it's Manchester City. City are too good. They're literally... They are a perfect, well-oiled machine, lads. And I hate talking about it because I hate Manchester City fans. But I know a couple of Manchester City fans and I can't deal with them winning the league again. If City win again, would that make them have would that mean they have won five times in the last six seasons? Liverpool uh, losing Mane is a big blow. I do think Diaz is good. Uh, Nunez like in terms of Nunez versus Haaland, uh, Haaland I think is definitely much more clear much more proven he'll fit in straight away i know he missed an open goal in the community shield which was very funny don't get me wrong but harlan's gonna fit in easily uh liverpool at the moment brand new striker somewhat new left wing in diaz and salah i don't think they they um, look they'll come second i think they are very good but I think now is the, the start of the decline a bit for Liverpool, which does make me happy to say. <laughs> Diaz is very good. Salah is obviously world class. Nunez, we don't know yet. And it's because of that reason that I think that, yeah, Liverpool comes second. I do think Liv uh, Liverpool's defence is better than Manchester City. But the thing is, City don't really need to rely on their defence that much. So, yeah. City, I think, will be champions. That is that, sadly. I would rather City win it than Liverpool, though. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All my, my